Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Samson David. I'm the CEO of Sirocco. Many organizations have invested significantly into automation programs. There has never been more expectations from automation programs. And the scrutiny also on automation programs and their ability to be able to deliver ROIs and business outcomes has never been higher. The key challenge in front of automation programs is not how to automate. There are many technologies out there. You could use RPA, you could use IDP, you could use chatbots, you could use OCR technologies. There are many technologies out there. But the holy grail of automation is to know what to automate. And there's no one what, there are many what's. What are the manual work patterns within my team? What are the different ways my teams are doing the same work? What should I eliminate? What should I optimize? What should I standardize? What should I automate? What should I not automate? And what is my ROI? Across all of these things, organizations fundamentally are looking at getting the answers to the what manually by doing massive discovery workshops. Now, there are challenges with the discovery workshops, right? It takes too much time. It takes too much time out of business. It, it is expensive. It is opinion based. It's not fact and data based. It's a point in time based, this manual exercise. It's slow. It's not as scalable. So organizations really need to have technology to be able to solve this problem. And this technology cannot be looking at just log files because log files will just tell you what the systems of record application is doing. What you really need is technology which is looking at the dark side of the moon and illuminating the dark side of the moon. How do we light up this dark side of the moon? You'll see task mining, you'll see process mining, you'll see task discovery, you'll see process discovery, process intelligence, hybrid process mining, you get process understanding. There are a bunch of terms out there. But if you distill through all of these things, there are really two sources of truth. One, you look at log files, it'll tell you what your systems are doing. Then you really need to look at the interaction data set between how people are interacting with software. This will illuminate the dark side of the moon. There are two fundamental types of technologies out there right now. One is computer-based vision. What is computer-based vision? Computer-based vision is really, you take a bunch of snapshots, you stack them up together, and then you scrub it to get insights. There are three fundamental challenges with this technology. Number one, it doesn't scale. Number two, it doesn't get you as sharp insights as you need. And number three, there's a fundamental privacy issue. You can't be taking a picture and say, hey, I'm not looking, and then scrubbing and submitting it. So these are fundamental challenges with the computer-based vision technology. Soroko has taken a very different approach to solving this problem of lighting up the dark side of the moon. And we call it the Scout Work Graph. The Scout Work Graph is very similar to what Google has done with Google Maps. Our Scout Work Graph works exactly in the same way. How so? The core data set is the interaction data set between users and systems. And what we've done with Scout Work Graph is we've taken this and we've mapped every point. For every point, we've got the metadata and we've got the relationship across the points. And we've got a graph built with millions of nodes and millions of edges. What can you do with it? Just like Google, number one, it'll tell you what the, what the state is as is. What is your as is state? Number two, It'll tell you if you want to go to, from point A to point B, what does it mean in the context of work? It is really when you're kicking off a bunch of tasks or processes. It'll tell you, hey, look, there are 18 variations. For every variation, these are the steps. This is how much time it's taking. This is the best variant, or these are the best variants that you need to do, and oh, these are the hot spots that you might encounter. The third thing that the Scout Work Graph can tell you is as you go along as part of the processes, it can give near real-time ins uh, insights. Number one, it can tell you, hey, look, this is stuff that you can optimize. This is what you could standardize. This is a credible automation pipeline that you can build. This is how you can automate. This is what you will get after you automate. This is how you can rationalize your application landscape. This is how you can drive technology adoption and a bunch of other things. And finally, the Scout Work Graph also allows enterprises to build rich applications on top of it. This is our approach to building the Scout Work Graph and lighting up the dark side of the moon.